Hi, I'm Rory Fallon, and uh, today I'll be interviewing Mr. Chris Wood. Woodley, you looking forward to this? I uh, very much so. I'm, I'm a bit scared of what, you, what you've got to offer me, to be fair. Um, we've spent, what, geez, nearly 10 years together, so uh, could, could be some interesting questions. <laughs> Auckland born. Yeah, yep. Auckland born. Auckland born, yeah. Hamilton raised. Basically, yeah, from the age of 10, um, Auckland until it's 10 years old, and then family had to move down to, to the Waikato, and uh, yeah, basically grew up there, that's where I properly remember. What were you like as a student, because you went to St. Paul's College? <laughs> yeah, yeah, St. Paul's College. Um, what was it like? What was it like first, and what kind of student were you like? Uh, well, St. Paul's is a, is a private school, um, very kind of strict, um, but got a good, good sense of it's more academic than sporting, yeah. um, put it that way. Um, so it wasn't, my. I think my parents wanted me to go there to learn a bit more. Didn't really learn no, too much. No, happen. Um, I was an okay student, I got I got by, um, but ultimately my love and passion was sport. And it was all, all sport, um, but then ultimately football took over. Yeah, bit of cricket in there. Bit of cricket, bit of rugby, rugby. Um, tennis. So, um, so second rugby. sport yeah. after football? Uh, what would you pick? Cricket. Yeah, I think cricket continued for the longest period of time together. Um, but loved every sport. That's Batsman? Um, Bowl, bowling, medium like pace bowling. Yeah, medium pace bowling. Yeah. Like a Jacob Orr. Yeah. And uh, thought I thought I could hit the ball as well when I wanted to, but often went for the big shot and got out all the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> got caught. Yeah. <laughs> got caught on the boundary. <laughs> yeah, they may slug it off again. Oh, well, there we go. But when you did catch one, oh, it went for six. It did, yeah. but it wasn't very often. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's better, Chris Wood or Chelsea Wood? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we're better in different different things. Yeah, uh, technically, she's a lot better than I am. Really? Yeah, she was always the technical player growing yeah. up. Um, but... Ultimately, knowing the goal is yeah, so, scoring goals, yeah. um, making a proper profession out of it. I'd like to say I just shaded it, but yeah, she she was always technically better yeah, than so me, she's which is a, a good player. which was a bit frustrating growing up because yeah. she used to make me and put a ball around oh, me, speak. and I used to lose my head and try and chop it down. Yeah, because <laughs> usually it's a bigger brother that bullies you and stuff like that, but it was your sister that got you into shape, really. Hundred percent, yeah. I think she she shaped my life from a from a young age. I, I used to look up to her all the time. Yeah. Um, I think you do with siblings. We spent so much time together. She's only 18 months older than me, so we, we lived together. Um, and yeah, we were inseparable growing up and yeah. played football we were all the time together. We played in the same team from 5 till 13. Um, so yeah, we've, we've played our whole entire career together. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's a bit similar to me and my brother, but he used to right, hammer me, he used to like, bully me. <laughs> See, that's but, uh, it's good though, because like, she's like had a part in your in your uh, success, you know? 100%, and that, that's the thing, she's, she's made me into the person and the player I am a bit today as well. Yeah. And then she's also my number one fan now, oh, that's um, awesome. biggest, biggest one. She, Spotches every single game, wakes up at 3 o'clock in the morning yeah. to watch every game. Um, she, she can't do enough for me. And she played in the under 20 was World Cup, didn't she? As well? Yeah, she played for Did the she play first, team? first team. No, she didn't make it the first under team. 20s, yeah. uh, under 17 World Cup, under 20 under World 20s. Cup. Yeah. Um, so she was a good, tiny footballer. Yeah, good. Um, but she also took the brains of the family. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, she, she studied medicine and then she went into optometry. Um, so she, she was a smart one in the family, wow. definitely. I know your parents very well. <laughs> Who do you get your traits off? Oh gosh. So um, mum, who do you get your, what trait, what strengths from her have you got from her and your dad? So both both my parents are very strong characters. Um, mum is definitely a, a strong woman. She's a strong um, woman. She, yeah. she is very... She's formidable. Yes, that's, that's, <laughs> definitely, that's definitely what I describe her. Um, but lovely. Oh yeah, she, yeah, she's got the great side of it. She's got the loving side, but she's also got the, the tough, nut, hard, dragon yeah. type yeah, woman yeah, to yeah. her that you're scared of Which growing up. Um, 100%, she kept me grounded. Um, she kept me the, the person I am. Um, but yeah, she was a she was a scary one and a tough one, and used to used to give me some beatings throughout my lifetime, um, and and rightly so, got, got me online. Got to keep you. Uh, oh, got, got to keep me yeah, down. Keep, 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 keep your head there. small so it doesn't go too big. And uh, what about your dad? Uh, he's more chill, doesn't he? He's more the chill one. He's the relaxed side, where yeah. I get my calm side from, yeah. and and more like laid back character. He's he's what I. So your 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 strengths from your mum would be kind of the. Um, the aggressive, energetic, aggressive yeah. side, and then your calmness would be from your dad. Yeah, I think and your focus, your focus would come from your dad or yeah, your mum. I, th I think it's a bit of both. Um, I think I'm I'm quite lucky because mum's English, dad's Kiwi. Yeah. So dad's got that laid back lifestyle yeah, 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 yeah. of the Kiwi, yeah. the Kiwi G. 
And then mum's got the, the energetic worker of a, yeah. a London raised, born and raised in London, having yeah. to graft for a living. Um, so I think they gave off a bit to both. Um, but yeah, focused, uh, dad, dad's yeah. job was extremely tough growing up in New Zealand and you had to be, you had to be focused on that. Yeah, because that's one of the big things that I've, I've known of, about you since a young age is that your focus is one of the most focused people I've ever met. And I, me, I'm very like, I was, if I had more focus like you, I think I would have probably got higher up. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I think that is a massive part in the professional game is that focus, isn't it? And never uh -huh. going off the tracks and just staying firmly on it because we all know that the game can offer you so much more outside of football. Ah, 100%. Um, I think you're totally spot on. The, the focus, the mentality, I think is, is key. Um, I think we, we speak about it all the time, yeah. how football is mental, at least 80% mental, and it's how you deal with things, how you how you structure yourself, how you keep focus, keep in the moment, and, and it is tough, and it's mentally draining at times, yeah. but it's ultimately what, what weeds people out from being good players and great players, and then the exceptional talents of yeah. um, the Messi's and the Ronaldo's who are a different breed, yeah. um, but... Yeah, ultimately, the, the mindset, it has to be right to, to yeah. be a professional football to deal with both on the field and off the field. Do you think that helped to have your parents with you when you were in England? Because they came over, didn't they, when you went there, what, 16, 17? 16, yeah. Do you think that helped to have them there with you? Uh, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I remember growing up 16, 17, I, I was lucky enough to have mum there and then dad moved over to join us. Yeah. Um, I couldn't imagine being in Diggs. Um, I think it's a extremely tough thing culturally to yeah. deal with yeah. and then to not have the the homely feels of when you come home to be able to yeah. vent yeah, yeah, yeah. and trust someone and yeah, trust, to speak yeah. and you just need to chat to someone or speak at someone someone and you can't really do that with digs people no. so or or your fellow professionals, fellow professionals you can't they don't care about really, so really though you can't trust them as well like when people what you don't know is when you go over to England it's like it's every man for himself yeah, it's doggy dog world so, over there. Yeah. It's, you see, you see a weakness or a weakness in someone else, and people will exploit it. Um, it will be talked about in the dressing room, and then yeah. they'll get back to you, your fellow strikers, and then they'll understand, yeah. and then you find yourself out of the team. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not what you want at all. No.